Hello friends, welcome to the channel Physics by Athens. We have already started our nuclear physics lecture and the gate and jam exam is nearer. So we should continue our nuclear physics lecture and I will finish it as soon as, as it is possible. So the topic is alpha decay and uh, this is a short note on alpha decay. At the last of this lecture, I shall also discuss some of the important problems that has already come in gate, jam and net paper. So let's start. The velocity of alpha particle, if it is a V, okay, and M is this mass and Q is its charge and R is the radius of the track and B is the magnetic field, then V equals to B R divided by M. What is the range of alpha particle? Range of alpha particle is the distance through which an alpha particle travels in a specified material before stopping to ionize the material and this is called the range of the alpha particles in that material and this range is sharply defined ionization path length now what are the dependent factors the range depends on the initial energy of the alpha particle the ionization potential of the gas and the chances of collision between the alpha particles and on the nature and temperature and the pressure of the gas. So if you increase the pressure, the range decreases. And if you increase the temperature, OK, the uh, range increases. The range R in the standard air is proportional to V cube. So R is proportional to V cube or it can be written as R equals to A into V cube. And this relation is known as Geiger law and it is valid only in a limited velocity range. Since this R is proportional to V cube and energy E can be written as half mv square where V is the velocity of the alpha particle, then the range energy relationship that is R proportional to e to the power 3 by 2 or it can be written as R equals to small v. Uh, this is a, a constant parameter to e to the power 3 by 2. Okay. What is the uh, definition of specific ionization? Specific ionization is the number of ion pairs formed per unit path length at any point in the path of the alpha particle. And this is symbolized by, uh, suppose I am symbolized by L. And since E is proportional to R to the power 2 third, so DE by DR can be proportional to R to the power 1 third and it is proportional to 1 by V. What is geiger natal law in the alpha part of decay? The geiger natal law is an important quantitative relation between the range of the alpha particle and the decay constant lambda of the emitting nuclei. And it was experimentally observed by Geiger and Natal in 1911. And that's why the law is called geiger natal law. And the relation says that ln lambda equals to A plus B ln R, where R is the range of the alpha particle, lambda, lambda is the decay constant. So if you plot, so A, B are the constants and this can be, uh, this can have different values for the different radioactive series. So this is uh, the uranium series, thorium series, actinium series. So it shows the variation of lambda with ln R. So since R is proportional to the power 3 by 2, so ln lambda is equal to C plus D ln E and C and D are also constants. So friends, you can take our test series for your preparation of JAM. IIT JAM test series are coming soon. And for the mock interviews, you can contact us in the Telegram channel or at the given phone number that is given in the page link. Okay, so please this link and know the details. Alpha disintegration energy. So suppose a parent nuclei, it is symbolized as ZXA and it is uh, degraded and it is decaying alpha particle. So the parent, uh, product nucleus or daughter nucleus is Z minus 2 Y A minus 4 plus this this Q value of the decay process is called the alpha disintegration energy. And what is Q value? Q value is the total energy released in the disintegration process. So Q alpha is mass of the parent nuclei minus mass of the daughter alpha particle minus mass of the daughter nuclei into C square. So M are the masses of the particles and C is the velocity of light in vacuum. For heavy nuclei, the Q alpha is positive. So the decay can occur spontaneously. So if you want to know 
the laws of conservation uh, you know the laws of conservation and momentum and uh, of momentum and energy you know the q alpha that is amount of disintegration energy so you just uh, apply the two laws that is one for this for the momentum so if the parent nuclei is at rest so momentum is zero and it should be equal to the daughter nuclear momentum so m alpha v alpha minus m y v y where alpha particle and daughter daughter momentum are exactly equal and opposite as their velocities are in opposite directions so q alpha is half m alpha v alpha square plus half m y v y square q alpha equals to t alpha into 1 plus m alpha by m y. So the kinetic energy of the ejected alpha particle is t alpha equals to q alpha divided by 1 plus m alpha divided by m y or t alpha is q alpha into 1 minus 4 by a or q alpha equals to t alpha into a by a minus 4. This important relation uh, you should remember that is Q alpha of the alpha particle, Q in, uh, energy, that is T alpha, that is the kinetic energy of the alpha particle into A divided by A minus 4. Okay. This another thing that is the quantum mechanical tunneling. The tunneling probability of alpha particle is T is nearly equal to e to the power minus 2 K to A, where K2 is 2m into v0 minus e divided by h cross where v0 is the step potential amount and 0 to a is the length of the step potential so the questions that we should discuss here uh, radio nucleide emits alpha particles of energy 4.8 mv and has a half life 16 20 years compute the velocity of alpha particles and the probability of alpha emission mass of the alpha has been given that is 4.0026 amu radius of residual nucleus that is 7.9 into 10 to the power minus 15 meter so the energy e alpha of the alpha particle non-relativistically it can be written as half mv square or v equals to root over 2 e alpha by m so velocity v equals to root of 2 into e alpha that is 4.8 into uh, mev so 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 16 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb into 10 to the power 6 so it it will become 10 to the power minus 13 so 4.8 into 10 to the power 6 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 so it will become 4.8 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 13 divided by m that is mass of the alpha particle so 4.0026 into a mu so i have to uh, write it uh, 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 27 whole to the power half that will give you 1.516 into 10 to the power 7 meter per second now the probability of alpha emission p equals to lambda by omega where lambda is the decay constant and omega is the frequency of hitting the barrier of the nucleus now lambda is the decay constant can be written as ln2 divided by t half where t half is the half life so ln2 is 0.693 divided by t half that is half life is 1.20 years uh, sorry 1620 years so 1620 into 365 into 24 into 3600 that is within second so it is second inverse now omega equals to v by twice r where r is the radius of the nuclei so v is 1.516 into 10 to the power 7 meter per second divided by 2 into r that is 7.9 it is given as uh, the r that is radius of the nuclei 7.9 into 10 to the power minus 15 meter it will become 9.6 into 10 to the power 20 second inverse so the probability of emission p equals to lambda by omega it is 1.356 into 10 to the power minus 11 divided by 9.6 into 10 to the power 20 it will become 1.4 into 10 to the power minus 32 so there are different i mean in this one questions you will get a combination of different questions okay so it can be written that find out the energy of the alpha particle and you have to do only this and if they are trying to tell you find out the decay constant of the alpha particle then you have to uh, solve this way or if they are uh, giving to find out the probability of emission then you have to do this way the next questions five groups of alpha particles are emitted 
bi uh, 83212 dkes their energies are 6.08 6.04 5.76 5.62 and 5.60 all being expressed in mev or mega electron volt now calculate the alpha disintegration energies now the relation i have already discussed that q alpha is the alpha disintegration energy or q value for the disintegration okay. so q alpha equals to a by a minus 4 into k alpha where k alpha is energy of the alpha particle so for the first one so q alpha 1 is 212 that is uh, bismuth 212 into 6.08 is it's the energy of the alpha particle divided by 212 minus 4 that is 208 similarly for the second range of alpha particle this is 212 into 6.04 divided by 208 for third 212 into 5.76 by 208 for fourth 212 into 5.62 by 208 for fifth 212 into 5.60 by 208 so this way you can find out the alpha disintegration energy so friends thank you for watching this video don't forget to like the video share with your friends and subscribe to our channel we shall cover the whole lecture of nuclear physics and more interview questions and more helpful videos so do subscribe to our channel thank you